now that we've talked about our different kinds mm -hmm. of um, pathways, let's kind of talk about that. So the first one, so let's see here. This is the heart. This is the heart and the heart has the aorta. So this is going to be, this is different than the capillary bed that we drew on the other side. This is gonna be your arterial end, so this is gonna be red. This is gonna be the venous side, so it's gonna be blue. So first and foremost, you have your coronary circulation. So that's how the heart gets blood to itself. So that's a little different. All right. Now, this right here, we have red going into a capillary bed coming out the venous end. This is your traditional capillary bed. Nothing new. Uh, we'll call this a simple pathway. So this is like normal. Now, here you have extra arteries before you get to the capillary bed, only one exit. This is going to be the arterial anastomosis. So even if like one of these is blocked off, blood can still get to that capillary bed. All right, on this one, one way in, lots of ways out. So we have extra room at the venous end. So this is gonna be the venous. anastomosis. Here blood can go in the capillary into from the artery it can go directly across to the vein side or it can go through the capillary bed. So this is going to be the arteriovenous anastomosis and you can just call it a shunt. So we can say, we don't really need to get this here. It can go on. All right, and here we have one capillary bed, comes out of the capillary bed and goes into another one before it heads back to the heart. This is going to be your portal system. And it's important here, so write it down. This portion that connects these two capillary beds is called a portal vein. Now, I'm not going to give you a slide here uh, particularly, but an arteriole is going to look like this. It's gonna have a lot more smooth muscle in it. A venule is gonna be about the same size with not a lot of smooth muscle, a lot more open space. 